Okay, we're going to teach you, smart girls, including Mel, <laughs> how to make matza. But yours won't be like this. You'll be without the ridges. Since you guys make smaller ones, we'll make about half the size of this one. So you can have half a cup, just aga aga, half a cup of flour, wheat flour. Okay, go put one. You pour it into a mixing bowl. All of it, half a spoon of salt, then you mix it, then add some olive oil to it, about one tablespoon. Mix it again and it will start to um, become like crumby. For this part you can use your hand or you can just use a spoon to do this mixing. Now you can add water, but add bit by bit. Add a little bit and then mix. Don't add too much water all at once. You need quite little water only. It will start to look like this. So now you can start kneading it and start pressing it down and make it into a ball. Try to start making it into a dough. You can start making it into a dough. It doesn't matter what shape it is. Just don't make it too watery, too sticky. It should be just um, evenly mixed. Evenly mixed. Now bring it to a flat place, in this case it's a table, and then you can put the dough there. Cover it with the flour, so that it doesn't stick to the table. So now we are going to let the dough rest for 10 minutes, ten minutes. The bowl. just leave it there and then cover it. After 10 minutes, it's time. There's no difference because there's no yeast or anything. Prepare the flat surface with more flour. Now we separated it already into four little balls of dough which we are going to roll out to make four pieces of matzah. Now it's time to get the rolling pin out. Cover your rolling pin with dough, uh, with flour. And begin to roll it out. The it is, the better it will be. It will be crispier and cook faster. Yeah. So you don't want to have it taste like uncooked dough. Make sure that the workplace is always covered with flour, you know, it can start sticking to the table or wherever you are doing it. Roll it into a way that it will start to move in a circle shape. You want to shape it out into a circle. Mm. Also, you need to make sure it's even. You can look at the dough, you can see some parts may be thicker than others, so you roll that parts out more. Usually it's thicker at the sides. Just keep doing it until it's really, really thin. Now we poke holes in it with the fork to give it the matzah look. And then we give it 39 stripes. Now it's ready to go into the oven. It should be the same one as the one that you guys have in Samara.
We'll just put it for three minutes first. It's been three minutes. It's not yet cooked. We'll add another five minutes. So this is the end result. It's um, got a curve. Interesting. First time I'm seeing it as well. It's a little burned because this is the side that is more inside the my the oven. So maybe you could take it out after the three minutes and turn it, you know. Okay. Enjoy making matzah. Love you guys.